Francisco. I'm Aaliyah Carey. And I'm Claire Carey. And this time at Oak Culture, this is the Intermediate Advanced Shadow class. Mm -hmm. We did review a couple of things from um, our more beginning shadow class. And one of those was an easy way to get into shadow mm -hmm. from backing. This is very much a pendulum motion. In beginning walls, there's a pendulum da -da. and forward and back. And, and if you're leading this socially, one, not a bad idea to start off with. Four, five, and one. Footwork wise, I have to shift feet. I have to do a foot fudge. Mm -hmm. So I'm stepping one, two, three, four, five, and stepping one. Right, holding foot. six. The yeah. other version of that is one, two, three, four, right foot. Right. Also kosher. <laughs> right. So one, two, three, four, five, oh. and one. And I have definitely been known to hold my feet. Mm -hmm. Then from here, exiting, I'm going to bring my follow in front. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Mm -hmm. All right. In time, it's going to be a little basic loop. And so getting out of shadow. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and one. Notice that as she comes around, I'm going to catch. She's going once. Here's that shoulder. Slide. I'm going to slide all the way down the outside of the arm. I'm giving pressure out. And then we'll step one. Uh huh. We also had another entrance. Mm -hmm. And with the basic one. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and one. Very soon. And I'm also going to back up with that one a little bit. Very helpful. Then we had a shadow swing out. Yes. Of which we did multiple. Lots. Yeah, lots of things. Uh -huh. It just feels super nice. I'm going to set my follow out. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one. Note that we're both keeping a bend in our elbows. Mm -hmm. I'm using my body to send her out, and I'm using my body to bring her back in. Follows, we really talked about the fact that I want to try to get connected by three, so I'm ready for whatever happens four. I want to get connected by six, so I'm ready for whatever happens on one. Um, in this situation, I really also want to continue the rotational energy that I'm being given. So I'm going to actually under-rotate ever so slightly, thank you. Um, and I'm not going to let it get uh, uh, all spongy here. Again, we talked about we want the nice uh, armpit airflow with that lovely open frame there. Super okay. easy. All right. Then we added a tuck and turn to this guy. Which is so much fun. So we sent our partner around. Two, two three. Four, five, six, so one, two, three, rotate again, and one. You'll notice in this move, I am constantly spooling and unspooling. So we do it in this direction? Yes. So I send her out. There's my rotation, right? So I'm not here, I'm here. Now I step back, I step back, step, step. Notice again, I've rotated. I'm going to rotate my follow through, out, step, step, there again. again. I'm back rotated and back, step, step. Looks like this in time. Oh, and, and one, two, three, four. And send your follow out and tuck and around and back. And there we go. And then we went to a follow hammer lock. So we added on. So and this can actually be done on all, all on its own. Right. So I'm just going to send my follow out. And I'm going to bring her back to a follow hammer lock. Down to go in, down to go out. And then we added a single window. Just one. That's where, a treat. Where I'm going to step forward, step, step, step. small steps. I'm going to I'm going to push her back, back, step, step, and then, and then nice with and the drape. Yes. So that on its own looks like this. And a one, two, two three, four, five. five. And a one. Send her back. Four, five, six, and one, two, three, four. We said really five, take your time six. on that drape. Um, we really also talked about that, like leads, like 
bringing a bike backwards beside them action to really convey. Yeah, let's just go to hammer lock. Sure. To convey, yeah. Right back da, here. Da, Send yeah. it back. Da, da, and up and over. Da. If she and gives relax. me really clear directions on the linear direction, the turns in the hands aren't actually quite as hard. That's right. Absolutely. Then we put the whole thing together. Then we can put the tuck and turn in the middle. The sandwich. There's the tuck. And through into the hammer lock. Follows hammer lock. And a single window. Windmill. That windmill. And so let's fun. just say that the windmills <laughs> can, in fact, yeah. keep going. You can do more. You can do more. You All right. Can. Then we have a, a beautiful stink herba move. Yes. Totally taken, themed from West Coast Swing directly. So I'm going to show it once, I'm going to explain it, and then we'll do it one last time. So it's a swing out. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one. So, so what's going on here? First part of the swing out. One, two, three. Let's get a little closer here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go one, two, three. Now I'm going to start walking around that way, but I'm going to keep. I'm going to stay very close to my follow. So four, five, six. Run. And we really talked about the fact that we're not just putting our hands here. She's sending that, that left way. side of my body back, and I'm taking advantage of that because I want to get all the juice for my next turn. And then I'm going to start turning to face line of dance. I've got a great connection here. She's mm -hmm. already prepped and rotated, and she's going to come out, and I'm going to continue to rotate, and she'll come up and over. Mm -hmm. I talked about follows being catchable and ready. Leaves, you want to put that hand there to stop them, so you say, yeah, it's only two turns. That's right. So and if it's more, huh, it's more. Yeah. Just like this. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and one. one. Then, I think those are all of the swing out swing variations. variations. Then we did a grapevine variation. Yes, we did. Oh, I love that. So basic, first basic grapevine. I'm going to put my hand over toward the end of the counts of six of my basic. She's going back a little Pushing bit. Pushing back and down. So that means I'm going forward and up a little What bit. I want to do is I'm trying to open up and firm up this frame. Looks like this with the basic. Mm -hmm. A one, two, three, arm over. Connection. And a da, one, two, da, three, da, and da, walk da, it da, out da. one. Then we added a variation where we made took advantage of three, mm -hmm. we popped that a little more and turned already it going that a, way. Turn. Already going that way, so we have a turn. We took, took, uh, took the prep into a nice mm -hmm. inside turn. And basic, one, two, three, and arm over. over. And a right. one, two, five, three, four, five, five, and over. And a one, two, three, one more. four. And a mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, and one. We really talked about follows traveling that, then scooping and really delaying on that five, six, so we have lots and lots of time. Absolutely. Then we had a whirl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the whirl takes advantage of an energy that I set up to begin with. So I'm going to send her out by stepping her out. Or by Titanic moment. And then I'm going to bring her back Four. I'm going to run right into her. And she's going to run into me. And I'm going to take advantage of that energy to turn and come all the way around. But I've got to have some energy to create that spin. Yeah, right? So I also have to commit to that. If I only go out and I don't stretch into that space, or come back and basically smack into my yeah. left hand side, yeah. it's probably not going to happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Sends me out and away. Stretch two, three, and back. Four, and five, and uh, yeah. one. Whole time she's pressing against my arms as yeah. in a push up. Yeah, I'm really giving her a nice solid structure to work with um, so that we don't collapse in. Yeah. Da -da -da. Push it out. No. And There's I just ride my feet through that five. Right? Yeah, we kept our feet really, really small. And yes, there will be maybe even a couple of pounds of pressure in that hand. And I think. Is that it? That we did? We did a lot of stuff. We did a lot of stuff. Is that it? it? That's everything. I don't know. That's the same with this really quick. Two more. Oh, the around the world. And oh, the around the hair. Oh my god, we did so much in this class. I know. I was like, I feel like there's something else. Yep. Alright, so around the world, we've done this a bunch of times, but
the I classic like version that we do in beginning shadow front, front to the side, side stretch, to the left, left stretch, and the right. Da, da. right. She makes it easier by going, yeah, right, da, 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 da. Yeah. That's yeah. so she doesn't have to go as far forever. And so, one, two, three, four, in front lift, to the side, I step to the right, and to the left, and, and around. Then, yeah. then, then I took that into a lead hammer lock, mm -hmm. and we made it faster. So instead of circumnavigating, I'm really just going I'm out, get, getting her all the way to the back by six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and one. What we said about that is once you get into the lead hammer lock, yep. you could walk for six. Yes, nothing wrong with that. Not even a bad idea if you're not super well connected. Yep. So one, two, three, four. This kind of comes across, across, Down. up, and over. And da da. da. There. Yeah. So whole thing together. And she's taking me over here. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five. Six. And so one. And four, and now. That was it. I think we did the wall. Yay, thank you guys so much.